Okay, so hypoglycemia is our next task. In this particular task, you have been asked to assess the patient because the patient is unresponsive. Okay, now what happens in here is a hypoglycemia scenario. And we know what happens. The problem is at D, disability. So which means we may find nothing at A, nothing at B, nothing at C, but the problem is at where? At D. So initial approach, hello, Mrs. Brown, or hello, Mr. Brown. Can you hear me, Mr. Brown? Can you hear me, Mrs. Brown? There is no response. The examiner may help, he said, doctor, the patient is unresponsive. Okay, so since the patient is unconscious or unresponsive, I will assess the GCS of the patient. So you do the GCS of the patient here. You may find the GCS is eight or the GCS is seven, but it's gonna be low. If it's eight or less, you're gonna say, okay, the GCS of the patient is seven or the GCS is eight. The airway is compromised. I would call an anesthetist to consider intubation of the patient. Then you go to B. So I'm gonna assess for breathing now. The patient is unresponsive, okay? So you have to verbalize. I'm gonna assess for breathing now. I can see oxygen, respiratory rate, they are all normal, okay? So nothing there for you to do. Yeah, the patient is unconscious, so I'm not to be able to take a history. I would like to review, you know, some patient's notes. So you can take the patient's notes and have a look. What may you find when you look at the patient's notes? And remember that your task is also a patient's notes. So if you were a little bit cloudy on what's written there, you just have to go and look onto it again. You may find it's written in, in your patient's notes that the patient was admitted with lower respiratory tract infection, admitted with lower respiratory tract infection, and today had to go for a chest extra in the radiology department. While he was in the radiology department, he missed breakfast. He has diabetes and he takes glycoside and he takes insulin. So he took his medication, but he missed breakfast. That's possibly the cause of what? Of hypoglycemia. So you're gonna find that in your notes or in your task, okay? Now, next, when you look in there, you need to go perform examinations. All examinations, normal. So there's nothing to manage immediately. So what you're gonna do next, everything was normal, so don't do any test because everything was normal. Then you're gonna do circulation. Again, everything normal. Normal blood pressure, normal monitor, normal this, ascultate, or normal. Go abdominal examination, we don't need to do it now. We're going to do it later. Get an IV line, send the blood test. Good. You can mention all the blood tests. Yeah. Routine blood test. Again, full blood count, UNEs, LFTs, glucose. Okay. Don't do group and save in here. For me. Okay. So, do we need IV fluids? No. Everything is normal. All the vitals are normal. The patient doesn't need IV fluids. Yeah. Good. So, D disability. We have assessed the GCS at A, so we don't need to do it again. Check the pupils, the glucose, we tell you no more pupils. When you come to glucose, you take the glucometer and try to speak to the patient, say, okay, I'm gonna check the glucose now, okay? I'll be pricking on your finger, bear with me. Now, here is the point. Even if the patient is unconscious, you have to try and talk to the patient and let them know, explain what you're doing along the way. Or otherwise, interpersonal skills, you're going to score low. So don't just say because he's unconscious, you're going to treat like a dead body. You're going to score zero in interpersonal skills. And to ensure that you speak to the patient, even if answers are not coming, you're still going to be saying, I need to listen to your chest now. I'll be tapping you on your chest, bear with me. I'm going, okay, now, Mr. Brown, I need to check your blood sugar. I'll be pricking on your finger, okay, to check some blood. So you are verbalizing as you go along the way, but don't treat like a dead body. He's unconscious, he's not dead, okay? So you take a glucometer and explain, and then they'll give you the value. Dr. Glucose is 1.9 millimoles, yeah? They'll give you the glucose value, 1.2 millimoles, 1.4 millimoles, 1.9, it is low. So what you're gonna say, okay, the patient has got hypoglycemia, I would give you glucose. Check the trolley. What glucose do you have? You may have a 10%, you may have a 20%, you may have a 50%. Don't talk theoretically. You're in a real situation. You cannot give it 20% if it's not available in the hospital, it's not available in your trolley. So you look at the glucose you have. So I need to give the patient glucose. If you have got a 20%, you say, I'm gonna give 75 ml of 20% glucose. Give it about five, 10 minutes or so for it to work, for the glucose to work. Where is the glucose? Where is the giving glucose? I will assess for E, the patient. I'll look at the tummy. Now you go, Mr. Brown, I'll be touching your tummy. 
you press, you palpate. I need to have a look in your private area. And again, do the same. I need to look at your legs. You look for anything, you palpate. Now you come back. I want to recheck. So I go there, I do the E, then I come back. I want to recheck the blood glucose. Okay, so okay, you check it, it's 3.5 millimoles. Okay, 3.5 millimoles, you try to speak to the patient. Hello, Mr. Mrs. Brown, can you hear me now? Okay, can you hear me now? Patient is mumbling, patient is too weak to talk. He cannot talk. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just repeat the glucose just to make the blood sugar go higher up. Okay, you have done that and I want to recheck it. Now it's five millimoles. Okay, so I've repeated it, it's now five millimoles. Mrs. Brown, can you hear me now? Are you all right? Patient is confused. Who are you? What are you doing? He's awake, but he's now confused. So you have to explain, okay, Mrs. Brown, you are in the hospital, your blood sugar was low, you had a hypoglycemia. The examiner may ask, doctor, tell me, how would you manage this patient? Okay. So how would you manage this patient? So the patient can give you history. If you didn't check the notes, it's time to say, okay, the patient is weak to talk. So I'm going to check the patient's notes. You go and check the patient's notes. You're going to find everything is written. So how would you manage this patient? So you have to explain. Okay, so what I will do, I will, of course, ensure the ABC is uh, stable. Okay, the patient has got a hypoglycemia because he missed breakfast and he took the glycoside medication and the insulin. So I will give the patient a long-acting carbohydrate. We will give the patient a long-acting carbohydrate, such as a sandwich or a toasty. Okay. Then I'll have to inform the consultant that the patient cannot be discharged. When you check in the notes, you're going to find the patient was supposed to be discharged today. Patient cannot go home, so we cancel the discharge. The patient would need a diabeticness review. Okay. Only, of course, to review the medication. Also, patients need some education, you know, if possible on the how to prevent hypoglycemia, okay? So the patient has to stay in, in hospital, okay? So that would be a hypoglycemia. 